YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker, just checking in with another Monday thrift haul. Got a decent amount of things today. This is all the hard goods I got. I also got a pile of clothes, <laughs> which I will show you. Boy, that sun is really bright coming through that window. Um, so I'm going to lay the clothes out separate. I know not every one of you is interested in clothes. You're interested in the other stuff. So I will uh, show you this first, and then I'll move on to the clothes. So let's jump right in, show you what I got. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whew, where do I start? Um, okay, let's start down here. Uh, this very beautiful hand-carved mask is all wood, and it says made in Indonesia. I'll have to put something on there, a string or something to hang it up. It was only $3. Very cute. So that will probably just go in my booth. Uh, probably off the top of my head, $12-$14. Um, this is kind of an interesting vintage find. It was $1.50. It is handles for people who crochet, knit, or macrame um, purses. So it's kind of this, you know, plastic, you know, tortoise shell kind of deal. It also has letters that you can put on, like, you know, on the handle. So I thought that was interesting. And it's new in package, new old vintage stock, I guess you could call it. And this will probably, it even has the uh, macrame uh, crochet fabric and what's this one say? Uh, woven so it even has the uh, pattern on there so that's kind of cool put that on eBay have to do my research of course first and see <coughs> excuse me what that's going for um, but yeah older stuff like this does sell you just got to hit the right person um, I needed some more um, hangers these were 250 um, they do have uh, you know the extra little place there which is nice for fuller figure plus size clothes so they don't fall on the floor um so that is a good deal how many are in there let's see two four six eight ten of them i mean you can get them cheaper at the dollar store but they're thinner and they do not have this extra little hook uh on them so yeah definitely a pickup you know me in these court cages i pick them up whenever i see them um, this one says wine cork, has the bottom you can open. It was only three. Um, I have wine cork, so I just put a handful in there and put it on the shelf. That will probably go for maybe, I'd say, eight to ten dollars. <throat> Some of them don't say wine cork, so when I put the corks in there so people understand what it's for, because, I don't know, a lot of people just don't understand what things are, and that's okay. This looks like a painting, but it is not. It's a print, but it's kind of got this texture on it, you know, to give it that look. But it's a barn. Very cool. Love the shabby chic kind of frame. And this was originally, I believe, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby, $35, and it was only $2.50. It does have a small rip in the paper. That's not a big deal. So that will go out to my booth probably. I would probably put, I don't know, 16, 18. <clears throat> Goodness, I don't know why I am. I gotta clear my throat today. So yeah, 16, 18, that'll go in the booth for. Not a bad uh, investment of 250. Um, you know, I, I have plenty of shells, but when I find a bag of really unique ones and it's only three bucks, I pick it up. Um, I put these in a jar, put a little twine or jute or something on the top, and they look awesome, and it does sell. Okay, um, I did manage to get some picture frames today. These are kind of cool. They do not have a picture in them, but they don't have like a stand or a way to hang them up. But look at them. They're like got, you know, this really nice matting. These are 8 by 10s so I could probably put one of like those little sawtooth hangers on them. In fact, that's probably what that is. Um, so for $4 and I got two of them. So I'm not sure if I may put like a saying or something in there. I'll see how they do. <clears throat> but that will be for my booth. Um, this is best dog ever. Isn't that cute? A uh, little shadow box frame. 
and the heart that says dog and that adorable and that was three dollars so that will probably go in my booth probably put mm, i'd say probably eight eight or ten dollars on that this is pretty too it's a teal uh, wooden frame it says life is better at the beach it was two dollars that's a malden which is they make really good frames and uh i don't know if malden frames are exclusive to kohl's but most of the ones that I find that still do have a price tag or a marking on them say Kohl's. No, it does not say. So, but I do find a lot of them that are Malden that say uh, Kohl's. <clears throat> These guys are really cute. Um, they are metal. They're very heavy. Um, he was $3. He looks like he was holding something. So I'm not really sure. And then he didn't have a price on them, so they just gave them to me for the same price as this one. So $6 for the set of them. I'll probably sell them together, but they were just too adorable. People like animals. I have not come across very many monkeys, so I guess we'll see how these do. I'll probably take them out to my booth, probably put 16 or 18 on the set of two. Um, these I've seen before and didn't know exactly what they what they were. But then I saw this one for $2.50, uh, and I was like, that's kind of cool. I wonder what it is. It is a sleep mate. I've also seen these in, like, doctor's offices because it kind of mutes the sound, so you can't, like, overhear them talking about patients uh, through the thin walls in the sty. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, and it you has, has two speeds, and then you can adjust it which is kind of cool. So if you're a person like me who has to have a fan blowing at night so you can hear something, I wonder if this would be a nice uh, alternative like if you're traveling. So that might be something to consider. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll keep it. <laughs> I got these absolutely huge socks for my son. He likes the ones that are no-show and he wears size 14. so. He has a hard time finding socks and shoes that fit, so these are brand new. They were only 75 cents each, or $1.50 for both, so I got those for Connor. <clears throat> you have seen these before, probably, um, when I showed my shipping room. It is a huge uh, plastic bag that stands up on its own, <clears throat> and in my uh, shipping room, one has um, shipping popcorn, and shipping peanuts and then the other one has um like the pillow you know the pillow you know to fill up a box so i have those and whenever i get them or i get a shipment i always hang on to my shipping supplies to reuse them so it's nice to have them ready and right underneath the edge of my desk um so this was a pretty good pickup now i have three of them this was $2.99 so yep I can always use those. I don't think these are really pretty, you know, okay for ship for shopping. I don't know. They'd be too big unless you're putting a lot of light things in them. I don't think the handle would would really uh, stand up for any kind of beating up. Um, let me sit down so you can see these other ones. This I absolutely <clears throat> fell in love with him. He was a dollar fifty, and look, watch. <laughs> Isn't he cool? So he's got springs on his or spring on his leg. A dollar fifty and look at that face and hat. So I will probably uh put him away until uh next fall, but he is so adorable. He will go in my booth for probably I would say like twelve to fourteen. See, that's the cool thing about buying stuff at, at thrift stores, is you're essentially finding one-of-a-kind items. In other words, these items have been around a while, and it's not like you're going to see them everywhere you go. Uh, not like if you go to Hobby Lobby or any of the craft stores, and you're going to see, you know, two aisles of all the same thing. This has probably been out a while and then donated, so he is a unique piece. Just loving that even his poor little beak looks like it was bent. I think it just kind of adds character to him. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <clears throat> anyway, I got another uh, sachet bird. 
only a dollar fifty. Uh, it's supposed to smell good, but I don't know. I don't really smell too much. It's been a while, around a while. That will go with my bird stuff in the booth, probably for four to five dollars. Got this sign that says uh, "Spread love wherever you go." Uh, it is wood. Has this bird on it, and it was only a dollar. It says Gans, so. I mean, it was mass-produced, but it's so cute. So that will go in my booth probably for, I'd say, 6 or $7. Got these very adorable coasters. There is, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. And it says, both of us can't look good at the same time. It's either me or the house. Mm. <laughs> and then uh, this one, I know they're... Some of them are repeats. It says, I childproof my house, but they still get in. I love the old, the 50s smiling lady there, you know. So these will go in my booth, um, probably for just four bucks for the bundle. Put a little raffia, something cute on there, and they will do well. I only got two pieces of fabric. Uh, the fabric lady was not there, hasn't been there the last two weeks. But there was another lady, uh, evidently snatched a lot. But I have a ton of fabric, so it's okay. So I got this um, this one for $2. There's probably a good two and a half yards on here. It uh, looks like a jungle. You got a giraffe and all kinds of other animals. And then this one is ugly patchwork, but it'll sell. Somebody will love it. It was only $1.50, and that's probably got a good two, two and a half yards as well. If you hear talking in the back, it's Mr. Pudgy Picker. He is home, working from home today. So, yeah, we're trying to stay out of each other's way. And that's not always easy. Last item I got, well, not last, but last of the hard goods. I always pick up blocks when I see them. People still like to buy them. What I will probably do is sit down and sort these out and see if there's enough to maybe uh, divvy them up into, what in the world is that? Oh, it's a letter. But uh, divvy them up into the ones that have the writing on them and then the color ones and then the plain and bag them up, probably put eight bucks a piece. Um, they do sell. I sell them in my booth, so we'll see um, how that divides out. But I remembered, you know, things like this, blocks and uh, other things from your childhood you know this stuff doesn't grow old kids love to play with blocks no matter what so yeah definitely was a good pickup i believe that is all that i got for hard goods uh, i'm gonna pause the camera lay out the shirts show you what i got and that should be good so that's all for the hard goods okay so here are the tops that i got uh, they are all plus sizes. A lot of people say, why do you only do plus sizes? I, you know what? It's what I know best. Being a bigger girl, I totally get the sizing and I get the different brands. What's a good brand? What's not such a good brand? So, I don't know. I just kind of stick to what I know. Um, I did forget one hard good that I had over here. And it's this very adorable lamp. Isn't it cute? It was only two fifty, and uh, that will go in my booth for probably ten dollars. <throat> okay, back to the shirts. Uh, one of these, after I bought it and I got it home, I was like, "What was I thinking?" <laughs> but I'll get to that one. You know, I, people do ask me, or you know, I I consider myself a professional to some extent. I've been doing this a long time, and even I make decisions that sometimes I question, and I look at things and I think. That is a crazy price. What was I thinking? Or why did I why did I pick that up? Or I don't know. So let's jump right in. I'll show you the shirts that I got. Uh, this one I'm thinking about keeping. <laughs> it's a very light um, sweaterish gray with the black stripes. It is a faded glory, which I happen to like. Uh, three fifty. I will buy Faded Glory to to uh, wear myself. I don't usually buy it to resell because it is a cheap brand essentially. But if I buy it for myself, that's fine. And three fifty is a good price. Uh, this is a red top with just uh, like this stamped black flowers and uh, and leaves on it. It is a Catherine's. It is three uh, X twenty six twenty eight. It was four and a quarter. It's, I think it's three quarter sleeve. 
This one is, I believe, a short sleeve. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, 1820 was 575. No, let's see. It was 275. Oh, math this early in the day. But I love the colors in it and the palm trees. Very pretty. Uh, so that will go uh, on eBay as well. This one is very pretty. It's kind of a peasant blouse. It is a 2628. It was 375. It's got this ruching at the shoulders. And then it has this really cute sleeve with the stretch elastic. And then it's got the tie in the front. So I don't know. I think that's three quarter sleeves. Very adorable. Um, this one is kind of ugly, <laughs> I think, but someone will love it. It is a Catherine size 2X. It was also 375. This brand I've never heard of, but I thought the shirt was kind of cute. So I decided to get it. It says flawless and has a number 10. It's on the front and back. It was 375 and it is blush. Um, when I was in the store, I tried to do a real quick uh, look, and when I typed in blush, I got all these pink shirts coming up. So I'm like, I don't have time, and it's kind of cool, so we'll see. So it's almost like this uh, bandana kind of, uh, you know, design on it. It is like a polyester kind of deal. It is a stamped blouse, you know, because it's got this where it was folded. Um, it is a long sleeve, so... Yeah, if you've ever heard of this brand, let me know, um, but I'll do more research, and I figure, you know, it's really cute, why not? And there's another one I didn't recognize the name, but I kind of like the design, so, you know, sometimes you look at something and you're like, yeah, let's just go with it. Um, this one is a Catherine's, uh, this one is a 2X uh, 375, it has this, you know, double shirt look, three-quarter sleeves, just a real basic top. This one uh, is an Avenue 375 1820. Just has a little bit of this, you know, studding here, and that's it. Um, I don't know if this is. Uh, yeah, it is a long sleeve top. Um, this is from Torrid. It is a 4X, 4 is a vanity size. Um, it is a like a lightweight uh, cardigan shrug. It's very short, uh, but Tord is a good brand. Um, so that was four and a quarter. Uh, this one here has got these designs all over the front. It is a CJ Banks, um, and it was a 2X, and it was 375. I don't know the sleeves. I don't know why it matters, but yeah, it's a long sleeve. But I mean, it's a real soft, like, t-shirt material. So that's kind of nice. Um, this one is the one I was telling you. I don't recognize the brand. Um, it is a stem and vine. It's a 3X. It was 375. It's a real light, like, polyester. But the sleeves, you have to see the sleeves. They got this, this, uh lacy at the end. It's like a three-quarter bell sleeve, I guess you could call it. So I thought that was cool and worth getting, and that's a popular color, this teal, this teal, and then the darker. Um, so I picked that up. This is the one that after I got home, I realized I was probably standing there yapping with somebody, and, you know, I'm friendly, and I talked to a lot of people, but it did distract me, and I probably shouldn't have gotten this one. It's 2628, and it is new with tags, so, I mean, that's that's good, but look at the price. I, I don't know what I was drinking. $10.99, so I paid $5.50 for this shirt. It is Elaine Bryant, um, and it is kind of cute, but goodness. Um, yeah, it is a three-quarter sleeve, but uh, whew, I don't know. So that was kind of dumb, but, you know, I'll make my money, and I'll make some money on it, but I, I probably wouldn't have picked that up. The shirt prices, the clothing prices have gotten crazy. I mean, you saw the first part of this video with the hard goods. I mean, the prices are like you get a beautiful Hobby Lobby, you know, picture for two fifty, and then they want to charge you a million dollars for the tops. It's crazy. So, uh, you know, if there's an issue, every time I get one of those surveys, which I do get regularly since I'm at two, you know, I go there twice a week or once a week, two stores, 
I always put that in there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Da look down below for all my social media. Uh, consider subscribing if you haven't. I'd love to have you in the Pudgy Picker family. And I also have my snail mail in uh, the description box below. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this haul. I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.